where we were very relieved to actually be there, to be able to be with him at the bedside, though we obviously saw he was badly injured, and that um, we were able to have the chaplain with us to pray over him before he died. I don't really feel anything at the moment because I'm just sort of just been rather overwhelmed by the last 24 hours that I'm, I sort of just feel a bit stunned and, and trying to sort of come to terms with everything which has been going on. So, so uh, I just was I feel sad that, that that all these writers haven't found another purpose in life rather than just destructive violence. I feel sad that a person as young as we see on the television uh, should be um, doing something which could put them in jail for 30 years, 20 years, possibly. I'm sure that when they started out the consequences haven't uh, occurred to them. And I'm amazed and delighted that the police have apprehended somebody uh, on suspicion um, so quickly. But I do hope that it will be a real lesson to other young people that it's just not worthwhile doing this sort of thing and breaking the law. I hope they'll take note and stop it. I'm just amazed at the scenes that I've seen on television, of the carnage. I mean, I was brought up in Croydon and to see that furniture store just completely destroyed was just unbelievable to me. Um, it was something I knew when I was little and uh, we used to enjoy going to that store and looking round. We didn't buy much but, <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lovely store. <laughs>